Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to place an image inside a text using Filmora 9. So this is very simple, simple trick. But one of my subscribers asked for this tutorial, so I just want to make this for her. Okay, so let's jump into the software right now. Uh, here I am inside Filmora. So uh, I'm currently using uh, Filmora screen recording software to record this tutorial. So first, first thing first, go to title, okay, and then go to included, and select title again. And here we have the default title. So this title has no animation, so you, we can use that. So just drag it, uh, drag and drop it onto the timeline. Okay, so let's say it. Uh, okay, five seconds is perfect. So double click on that. Okay, now we change the text. We want let's say uh, text okay and I also change the size to uh, 150 I think 150 is okay okay and also change the fonts click here to change the fonts I need a bold one okay Rockwell extra bold this one is perfect okay that's great okay now I can uh, that's all I want to uh, create. Uh, now I go back to the media. Now go back to the media. And use this uh, button. Uh, take, a, uh, take a snapshot of the review window. Okay. And do that. Now it's okay. So we, uh, we can delete this uh, title box now. Hit delete on my keyboard. And now I need uh, an image. So I, I can overlay this, uh, this text uh, on, on the, the image. Let's find the image in my download. Okay, I have a boat here. I downloaded it from uh, pizzabay.com. Uh, we can drag and drop it into um, Filmora. Okay, and drag it drop and drop it on the timeline. Uh, to a second, let's say uh, I want to have 10 seconds. Okay. Now I, I need one more video track. So I can right click here and add video track. And now I can uh, drag and drop my snapshot uh, on top of the image. Let's say uh, duration. I want to make it uh, five second. Okay, this is five second. And uh, I want to make the text uh, bigger, a little bit bigger also. So I double click on that. I go to transform, and I scale it a, li a little bit with this slider. All right, that's perfect. Now I click OK, and now I need to uh, adjust the. I, I need to to add a zoom in effect for the, for this text. So I select it and go to uh, Crop and Zoom tool here. Uh, okay, and now I select Pan and Zoom. Okay, the, uh, and also the, the ratio. I need to select uh, sixteen by nine. And at this end position, I can adjust it to have it smaller. Uh, I think this, okay, as small as possible. Okay, so this is perfect. I click OK to go back to the timeline. And now I play the review. The text is uh, zoom, zoom out, okay. And that's perfect. So now I, now I double click on the text again. This is just an image. And now I go to compositing. I select this arrow. And we have some blending blending mode here. And we select an option. In this uh, this time, we uh, select multiply. Okay? Multiply, it means that uh, an image uh, at the bottom and the text. So uh, the image will go uh, through the text, the text on top, uh, on top layer. Okay? We select multiply and okay now we click ok to go back and see the review okay so at this point i want to to have a smooth uh, transition so i go to transition and uh, i have my favorite transition here but uh, actually you can for example if you are included you can search for this soul yes this soul and drag and drop it onto 
onto the snapshot okay so I also extend it a little bit and that's it we finish here's the, the result very nice right so I, I hope this is clear enough for you to, to understand uh, understand the tutorial uh, I'm sorry for my uh, my voice today is not very good because uh, now I'm sitting in uh, a big, a large room, not a small room uh, as normal because uh, the background is so different because my neighbor is uh, fixing their house. I'm sorry for that. By the way, if you have any question, let me know in the comment section below. If you, uh, if you are new here, consider to subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye for now.